In what could be seen as a major setback for the Naga People's Front in Manipur, the Manipur High Court on Friday declared Naga People's Front's present MP, Loro S. Fose's election to the Lok Sabha, null and void from outer Manipur Lok Sabha constituency in 2019, while the petitioner, Holim Shokupao, Mati of BJP, was duly elected from the parliamentary constituency. The petition filed by Holim Shokupao Mati claimed that Loro S. Fose's affidavit for the polls had defects. The petition was heard by the single bench of the High Court, Justice M. V. Murlidharan. According to the BJP candidate and petitioner Mate, the returning officer abruptly and improperly accepted the nomination paper of the first respondent on March 26, 2019 during scrutiny. He also claimed that there was no proper scrutiny as envisaged under Section 36, Subsection 2 of the Representation of People Act 1951. The HC noted that it is pertinent to point out that the provision of the Representation of People's Act 1951 provides for filling of maximum four nomination papers. But as per Section 33A of the Representation of People's Act, read with Rule 4A, that the candidate is required to file a duty sworn affidavit under Form 26 along with the nomination papers containing true and correct facts along with complete information, which cannot be different. The four nomination papers must be accompanied with the same affidavit under Form 26, the court added. Consequent, upon the findings that the election of the first respondent is declared as null and void, the petitioner is entitled to be declared as elected member of Outer Manipur ST parliamentary constituency in the general election to the 17th Lok Sabha 2019, the judge added in the order. The HC order said that the first responder got 3,63,527 votes and the petitioner got 2,89,745 votes. And now to join us on this matter, we've got with us our correspondent from Manipur, Mubashi Raju, who's joining us through line. And we'll be speaking more about this verdict that the Manipur High Court has just given. All right, Mubashi, thank you so much for joining us. Also, Mubashi, can you please tell us a little more on this incident? And also, uh, what are some of the reasons as to why uh, Mr. Fose's uh, election got null and void? Uh, well, Akibito, you uh, said it right. Uh, it is a big zone for the NPF and uh, and a good uh, good news for BJP because uh, immediately after the you know uh, the declaration by the High Court of Manipur, all the you know prominent office bearers of BJP uh, tweeting it as a good news. So it is a good news for uh, BJP, and while on the other hand, it is a big zone for NPF. Uh, according to you know petitioner uh, this Benjamin Mate of BJP, who is a senior BJP leader and a vice president of BJP, Norho S P Fose you know has. You know, uh, file. Uh, there are certain discre discrepancy in his, you know, uh, election affidavit. You know, uh, uh, like the, you know, uh, about his properties and all all those stuff ha have been, you know, uh, found to be some discre uh, discrepancies according to all uh, this. Uh, um, Honorable High Court also. So it is a big toll for the uh, um, NPF because, uh, you know, there are only two constituencies in Manipur for, you know, Lok Sabha. One uh, is outer and another is, you know, inner. In the inner, uh, NPF uh, will have very little chance of winning in an inner constituency. So if NPF can, you know, mug up some numbers, it can only be in outer constituency. So losing uh, NPF. Uh, 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 which is considered to be a stronghold, is a very big soul, you know. While on the other, you know, uh, they have uh, won the election with a big margin, you know, more than 73,000 votes, you know, by uh, uh, NPF. So it is a big soul. Uh, well, we cannot go into the details, you know, there are a lot of, you know, these are all these are, you know, technical stuff, you know, all this kind of uh, thing. But yes, uh, NPF candidate can still, you know, go to the Supreme Court uh, by filing this special leave uh, petitions and, you know, they can still knock the door of Supreme Court of India and let's see how, what it can uh, turn out. Yes, uh, Akivito. All right, Mohashir, you were just mentioning that a lot of senior leaders from Manipur are tweeting about the adulations that Mate is now the duly elected MP from the outer constituency of Manipur. So what, has there been any official uh, notification or a press release from the Naga People's Front stating that they are, have they given any of their thoughts as to the decision by the Manipur High Court and have we got any confirmation that the NPF is now going to go to a higher court to challenge the verdict of the Manipur High Court? 
Uh, well, so far, no official, you know, uh, uh, statements from NPF, but uh, it is uh, uh, always, you know, given that they will knock the door of Supreme Court. Even, you know, uh, order itself said that they can uh, go to the, you know, knock the door of Supreme Court of India. So they will definitely, I think, uh, will go to the Supreme Court of India and uh, uh, will appeal for more, you know, uh, according to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, according to uh, NPF candidate uh, Laura Pifose, you know, uh, uh, he filed, uh, you know, this nomination, uh, he filed this nomination paper uh, in three uh, batches, you know, but, you know, this returning officer, you know, failed to, you know, somehow failed to, you know, see the details. All this kind of st stuff, you know, it is a very technical kind of thing. So we cannot say much about the technicalities because it, uh, only the court can say about the technical stuff. But yes, they, I think they will go to the Supreme Court. There is no doubt about it because uh, they, they have won the election with a very good margin and he is a, you know, a, a, a very popular, you know, uh, MP. So he, he will, uh, I, uh, there is very, you know, most certainly they will go to the uh, Supreme Court if, as far as I can, uh, you know, know. But so far, no official confirmation yet because because they might be in a bit of a soak, you know, and they uh, might be, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, you gathering the information and all those kind of things. Yes, Akhil Vita. All right, Mubashir, in this year's election, or Manipur Assembly elections, the NPF and the BJP decided to stick along with each other again and go into an alliance. And now this whole equation is now changing because now in Manipur, with the two Lok Sabha, or rather the Member of Parliament seats, both of them are BJP now. So do you think that this is going to cause some type of friction between the BJP and NPF in the Manipur uh, scenario? Oh. Well, Akibito, when you make alliance with bigger national party like uh, BJP or Congress, you know, uh, the smaller regional party, you know, ha always have to make a lot of sacrifices, you know. A bigger national party will, you know, have all the powers and all the, you know, uh, influence. So, always, you know, there there is bound to be some kind of friction. But uh, by and large, I think NPF being, uh, you know, a good partnership in the center, uh, I, I don't think any measure fall out at the moment because, you know, we are all small, small state like Manipur, uh, Mizoram, Nagaland, all these are very small state and we are, you know, very, very, you know, limited in our resources. So we have to depend a lot on center. So we we have to maintain a very good center state relationship. So I don't see any, you know, big... Uh, uh, friction at the moment but uh, at, uh, during the time of an election you know of course there will be some friction there is no doubt yes Akhita. all right Mubashir, over the past few months we are seeing a lot of political turmoil going on in so many states starting from maharashtra and a few a few months back or rather even a few weeks back big news was coming in from manipur too when we had five jdu mlas join the bjp in front of Bharatiya janta party national leader JP Nadda. So, does this mean that the Bharatiya Janta Party or the Lotus has officially bloomed in Manipur? And also, do you think that the opposition legislators are slowly finding out that staying in the opposition is not enticing at all? Uh, about this, you know, as far as about this, you know, uh, JDU candidate, you know, merging with uh, JDU MLAs, five JDU MLAs merging with BJP is concerned, you know, uh, most of these uh, uh, MLAs are, you know, uh, first, uh, first they were, you know, attempting for this BJP ticket, you know, uh, at the beginning they were, you know, all of them, you know, if they, most of them, you know, wanted to, you know, uh, uh, contest election from uh, BJP, somehow they failed to get the ticket and they joined this uh, JDU. So, uh, right after you know joining BJP, we talked to their uh, you know uh, spokesperson, uh, Mr. Joy Kishan. Also, afterward, we personally you know had had one on one interview with you know MLA Arun Kumar. Also, they said that you know it is kind of a homecoming for them. Uh, as far as your question about you know BJP becoming uh, more stronger in Manipur, definitely BJP is at the moment very very strong in Manipur. Uh, uh, um, there is no doubt about it. But having said that, you know, uh, the, 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 during the, the time of election, you know, all this competition combina combination may change very quickly, you know. But uh, at the, uh, right now, at the moment, uh, BJP seems to be very, very strong. You know, Congress uh, has been, you know, reduced to only five uh, figure, uh, only five uh, MLAs, and JDU uh, five MLAs have already, you know, merged with. Uh, uh, BJP. Only one uh, MLA uh, has been left with in 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 the entity, you know, in the in uh, in uh, uh, JD. So 
opposition is uh, scattered at the moment, and most of the you know people uh, are willing to you know support BJP also, even with this uh, NPP also, even with this NPP the. Uh, in fact, wanted to support the BJP. They are giving, in fact, they are giving outside support at the moment. But uh, the uh, because BJP has, you know, already, you know, more than enough numbers, so they are not inviting NPP to come to the table. But they are, you know, being, a, you know, uh, being a partner at the centre. They even they are, you know, uh, uh, they are giving, you know, outside support. So BJP is at the moment very strong in Manipur. I think it's, uh, in most of the, you know, uh, other northeastern states also. So BJP is very strong at the moment, but uh, 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 during the election time, uh, it can change uh, any time because uh, uh, things work in very, uh, you know, the different uh, uh, manner uh, when uh, in the lead up to election. Yes, Akibito. All right, Mubashit. So just to end the qu question, eh? so is this the first verdict, which is a kind like this, in which a winning legislator or a uh, sitting MP, after getting nominated to the Parliament is now finally having his election null and void. Is this the first type of the verdict in Manipur? Uh, and uh, not at all, uh, Akibito. Uh, yes, I am not certain about the MP, but uh, as far as you know, MLA is concerned. Uh, in earlier time, also many MLAs got uh, you know disqualified by the Honorable High Court, and then by even by uh, Honorable Supreme Court, and the candidate who comes seconds had been you know given. Uh, Given this, uh, uh, g given the ticket, so uh, g given the, given the seat, so it is not a first time, uh, not for uh, first time. This is kind of thing happened in Manipur. Uh, um, in fact, many uh, you know uh, MLAs have, have their uh, ca cases pending in the Honorable High Court. Uh, you know, their opponents have filed you know uh, affidavit against, uh, have filed petitions against them. So, in fact. Uh, uh, the, 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 the verdict, uh, this particular verdict may have, you know, bail ring to many of the cases that are pending in the High Court. So many of the, you know, uh, MLAs might be, you know, a little bit of uh, feeling the pressure at the moment. Yes, Akibito. All right. Thank you so much, Mubashir, for joining us and giving us the latest info on this Manipur High Court verdict in which they have declared the election of Mr. Fozi's election as null and void. Thank you, Mubashir.